It's hard to mess up as obviously as Sergio Garcia just did. He didn't just withdraw from a PGA tournament suddenly, he also went to a football game the same day. Fans can't understand what he was trying to achieve, but the DP World Tour is fining him. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Sergio Garcia's withdrawal, so stay tuned. First off, Sergio Garcia missed his tournament. Sergio Garcia withdrew from the PGA BMW mid-tournament. His withdrawal was announced early Saturday morning. This has led to a huge controversy, as not only did the golfer provide no reason for withdrawing, but he also showed up at Texas vs. Alabama football game in Austin on the very same day, as reported by the New York Post. Garcia will be fined by the DP World for this action. Now he can't even claim to be innocent, because he exposed himself on Sunday when he posted pictures of himself with his wife Angela Atkins Garcia at the very game. He was also pictured doing an interview at the field following his opening round on Thursday where he shot a 4 over 76. The following second round was postponed because of the Queen's death. The golfer faced a lot of hate from golf fans online for leaving the tournament for no apparent reason and then flaunting his attendance at a football game. According to his wife, they were there to support the Longhorns coach, Steve Sarkisian. Garcia wasn't even the only golfer to have withdrawn from the tournament. Other pros such as Justin Rose, Ryan Fox, Christopher Broberg, Nino Berstasio, and Andrea Pavan also pulled out. Garcia is probably getting more hate because he didn't even try to hide the evidence that he had done it without reason. Reason, as he was perfectly fine in the pictures posted online, not to mention mid-tournament. Next up, Sergio will be fined by the DP World Tour. Well, if Garcia thought that he'll be the one getting the last laugh, he was wrong. A spokesperson from the DP World Tour confirmed that officials were considering fining the golfer if he doesn't have a proper explanation for why he withdrew from the event. A proper explanation he's destroyed pretty much all hopes of giving. Garcia playing in the tournament was already controversial enough as he was one of the 15 players from the LIV Golf Tour who decided to play in the DP World event in a desperate attempt to gain world ranking points. But unlike the rest of them who showed up after the delay, Garcia was about 5,000 miles away. Garcia would have needed to shoot a 64 in the second round after his 76 if he wanted to be able to play in the final round on Sunday. What he did wasn't only disrespectful, but also a clear violation of the tour's rules. The DP World regulations state that no player is entitled to withdraw after the first round is concluded, or when any round of the tournament is still in play. The only exception to the rule is that the player has emergency reasons or medical circumstances that are deemed to be reasonable by the tournament director. The written evidence of these medical circumstances should be forwarded to the tournament director or the entries department within 21 days after the withdrawal. If the player can't do this, they'll be fined for violation of the rules. Thirdly, he has a bad history history with DP since his deflection. It's understandable that the DP World Tour is jumping at the first chance to take the golfer out. Garcia has already upset them, seeing as he used some strong and disrespectful language while speaking up against them. This is something he's been doing since he signed a contract with the LIV in June. When he was asked before the PGA BMW about the strain that was obviously going to be present between the LIV golfers and the DP World Tour members playing at Wentworth, he responded that while he was sure everyone would be rather tense about it, they were just going to go out and play. He was going to support the tour and if anyone had a problem with that, then it wasn't his problem. He once remarked that he couldn't wait to leave the tour after he got in trouble with rules that he thought were unfairly set. The legal action taken by LIV players against the DP World is still pending until February 2023. The DP World Chief Keith Pelly set up an annual player meeting at Wentworth on Tuesday. It was already an intense affair and Garcia Garcia rebelled even during that. When asked whether LIV golfers will be able to be a part of the European Ryder Cup team next September in Italy, he answered that they'd be able to earn world ranking points from next week. But they were unsure what was going to happen in the next 12 months and soon after that, there was nothing left to say. Finally, his comments about Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods has had many opponents throughout his golfing career, but he's hardly had any enemies and Garcia stands out from the rest since he's long been considered a nemesis of Woods since their early professional days. There have been many comments passed back and forth between the golfers, but Garcia once apologized to Tiger for a comment that he thought crossed a line. The rivalry between Tiger Woods and Sergio Garcia is widely considered one of the most heated rivalries in the sport, and both golfers have criticized
criticized each other publicly many times in the past. Before the United States Open in 2013, when Garcia attended a European gala event, he was asked at the dinner table if he would have a dinner night with Tiger Woods. Garcia replied, saying that they would have him round every night and we would serve fried chicken. Fans called Garcia's remarks racist and silly. Woods made a post on Twitter saying that the comment by Garcia wasn't silly. It was wrong, hurtful, and clearly inappropriate. Ahead of the BMW PGA Championship in 2013, Garcia apologized to the European Tour and Woods, saying that, most importantly, he wanted to apologize to Tiger and anybody else that he could have offended. He said that he felt sick about it and was truly sorry. Now, in other news. First up, Tiger Woods becomes liaison for the PGA Tour. The game's biggest icon, Tiger Woods, could only watch as LIV Golf recruited PGA Tour members and made headlines. But now he's back as an important, although unofficial, liaison for the PGA Tour. At some point in golf's most turbulent year, Tiger Woods became, like everyone else, a curious bystander. Woods's preparation for the British Open coincided with LIV's launch in London on 9th June, and its follow-up event three weeks later in Portland. Woods had much time to mull the life of Tiger with his disappointing T-47 at the Masters and what would become a missed cut at St. Andrews. Some of the reasons why Woods flew to Delaware last month before the second FedEx Cup playoff event include an extensive medical history, obvious physical limitations being 46 years old, more net worth than most suburban neighborhoods, a new Saudi-funded golf circuit, and big-time players leaving the PGA Tour for LIV Golf. Next. Kemper Sports buys two major golf courses. Kemper Sports, an Illinois-based company that manages and owns golf clubs all over the country, just bought two well-known golf courses of local Masters and U.S. Open champion Fuzzy Zoller. The company has its headquarters in Northbrook, Illinois, and has acquired Fuzzy Zoller's converted bridge and Champions Point golf clubs in southern Indiana. Steve Skinner, the CEO of Kemper Sports, said that Fuzzy and his team did a great job building and running the courses, and they're excited to carry on the legacy. He said that they saw a real opportunity for two courses that are highly regarded in a market that's growing. The discussions with the ownership groups were started about a year ago by Kemper Sports, and the sale closed on the 6th of September. Skinner refused to share the purchase price. He said that current patrons shouldn't expect big changes to the courses they've come to enjoy. Finally, Greg Norman thinks LIV players need to be on the world rankings. Greg Norman, the chief executive of LIV, IV Golf warns that the world rankings would be considered a laughing stock if they refuse to award points to players from LIV Golf. Whether LIV Golf is recognized by the official world golf ranking system or not could be a game changer for the Saudi backed golf circuit. If the players can earn ranking points from LIV events, it'd be very easy for them to qualify for the sport's four majors. While talking with the Age newspaper in Melbourne, Norman said that it would make the OWGR look obsolete if they didn't add LIV. He said that if they wake up at the end of the year and Dustin Johnson is 102 in the world, then is that not a laughing stock to the OWGR? He said that there are two things they can do. They can either fold or include LIV into the OWGR. Everyone will move on and be happy after that. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Sergio Garcia's situation? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one. Come <laughs>